all of us desire and we pray for the manifestation of our dreams. We all have a goal, and I pray that that goal is something you have not given up on. Because God has not given up on you. You have free will to give up on yourself, but I pray that you will not. Here's what it says in Th 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 10. It says, Even while we were with you, we gave you this command. Those unwilling to work will not get to eat. Well, my friend, that's not talking about dinner. It's not talking about eating. It's talking about doing the work that needs to be done to reach the goal, to reach the dream that, that you want. If you're unwilling to continue, you won't have it. But at any time, you can pray for a turnaround, and that turnaround will come. All that is necessary to break the spell of inertia or frustration is this. Now listen to this. Act as if it's impossible to fail. I'm going to repeat that. Act as if it is impossible to fail. That is the command of the right about face, which turns you from failure to success. William James was the son of a noted theologian, the brother of a great novelist, and himself a Harvard professor and one of the founding fathers of American psychology. James also was a common sense philosopher. He once observed, nothing is so fatiguing as the hanging on of an uncompleted task. The professor's advice was right on. All of us are tempted sometimes to postpone the unpleasant, to put it off for another day, to stop, to relax, to, to give ourselves a break. But giving in to that temptation just allows minor problems to mushroom into full-blown crises. That's why it is so often better to tackle problems when they're in their infancy. So today, make a promise to yourself for yourself that you'll finish any uncompleted work even if it's unpleasant, that you will walk the path toward your dream, that you'll walk the path seeing the end goal in sight, that you'll believe in yourself because you believe in God working through you, that it is impossible for you to fail. And when you do, as Professor James would be quick to point out the best place to put trouble is behind you. <laughs> Class dismissed. God bless you.